when you're setting the print where you want it to print on the piece in this example you probably want if this was an actual mailer we'd want the address to be down a little bit lower than that so I'm going to take the print head loosen the, the knobs here and I'm going to slide it down a little bit and lock it back in since this is a thin piece, and make sure this is pretty much all the way down, and lock it in. That'll raise and lower my print head when these are unlocked. Stack of paper still relatively fanned here. Stick it in. I'm not using the outside guide at the moment, so you can see what's going on. Get the test. And there's my first piece. As you can see the cartridge I'm using in that head didn't start to fire right away. But if I purge the first thing time before I start a print job, it's always helpful to purge first then start your print job. So I'll purge it again. Now I'm going to go to run a test. That will print nice. It's one of the most common things we get calls about. First piece didn't print out right nice. It's because the nozzles aren't starting to fire. Another thing to watch for is the inner guide will let you offset it. Get a lot of calls where people have taken that inner guide and moved it away from the machine. Well your paper sensor is right above my finger down inside the machine. So it's only a little bit off the wall. And right now where my guide is the piece, the paper would actually go through the machine and miss the, the um, sensor altogether. See how I can still see the sensor down in there? So I would never actually print a piece. If you're even on the edge of it, you don't want that. Make sure this is pretty much against the wall to a little bit out. 